Dan Barrera, USA Land Ventures. On my way to look at a one family home that's a bank owned property on Staten Island, New York. I got a phone call last night about 10.30 at night from a realtor that I've been doing business with. Her name is Marianne for approximately 25 years. She's fortunate enough to have created relationships with what they call REO agents. REO agents are agents that created relationships with specific banks and capitalized on those relationships by getting the listings for those bank owned properties. Now I did my comps last night and they're just literally all over the place. So having said that here in New York, no matter what borough you're in, it's a different animal. You can't compare it to uh, other states or other counties, even within New York, because a one or two block difference could make the difference of 50 to $100,000 in value. That's how different New York City is in all the boroughs. So we're on our way there. Uh, when I get there, I will for sure show you the property. As you see, this is a one family house, residential area. If I was driving for dollars today, this is exactly the type of property I'd be looking for. The ugly dish network on the roof, the unkept landscaping, the broken sidewalk, cement pieces, the windows don't have shades on it. There's a notice on the window and the mattress on the side of the house. Again, all the things you would look for if you were driving for dollars. The reason why we're here is because the comps are just literally all over the place here. And this is why we're here to see why the comps are so different. You got to actually put eyes on the property and feet on the ground. However, in this property, because of COVID, they're not letting us in because of the laws in between the state and the city. However, because of that, they're only accepting cash offers on this property. And that also leads me to believe there's one of two things that are additional issues with this property. One is either there's a title issue, or there's a defect on title, I should say, or there's a condition within the property that's gonna make it extremely difficult for anyone to get a mortgage on. Now, having said that, because it's gonna be difficult for other investors to get into the property, I'm gonna to have to make my offer based on what I could just see on the outside of the property and whatever I could see by peeking in the windows. But let's take a look around the property and then let's evaluate. The door's ajarred, which is not good. Um, leads me to believe it might be some squatters in there. All the doors are missing. Seems like uh, it's got old wiring. There's some broken sheetrock. Let's take a look in the back. There's a lockbox on the side of the door disappointing because I could notice that what they used instead of two by fours was two by threes not sure if that deck is even legal it appears that the roof is only one layer roof looks pretty damn good that shed's gonna have to be removed the fence is gonna have to be replaced but in actuality the exterior is not bad it just needs cosmetic work put a nice six foot PVC fence back here and this property could just increase in value based on that alone but as you can see it needs a lot of uh, landscaping but that's just you know sweat work that's not uh, a lot of sweat equity here considering the fact that my sons are both home from school guess what they'll be doing if we get this property <laughs> but these are the issues that you're gonna find with a foreclosed property and this is what you have to expect that when you pull permits you're gonna to have to pull permits to fix what somebody else did incorrectly as well those are what I call the might as well is that we really can't see unless we get actually get into the property but again because of covert that's not gonna happen today so our price is gonna be based on 30 to 20 percent less than what we would normally put in an offer on this pro on this property and again why it's as is cash sale only which probably means that there's either title defect or additional conditions within the property that doesn't allow a convent for conventional mortgage. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. We love paying it forward. If you really enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the button below. Have a wonderful day.